Hey everyone, Terry Cutler here. And in this episode, we're gonna talk about some warning signs that you're about to get hit with a ransomware. Now let me ask you a question. Do you ever notice sometimes whenever you're on watching the six o'clock news and they're talking about some company that got hit with a ransomware and they're interviewing some cybersecurity expert, they're always gonna be asking them the question, were you surprised that this happened? And you're gonna see that most cybersecurity experts are gonna answer, I'm not surprised. And there's a reason for this. It's because a lot of times when these companies are being hit, the warning signs are written all over the wall, right? Your DNS is being redirected. Your, your VPNs maybe are being rebooted. You're having so much failed logins in your network. And the IT guys aren't providing enough information to the, the, the board or the, the CEO that these attacks are happening. Maybe they don't have the expertise. So I'd like to cover some of these topics right now of how you will know if some of the warning signs to know if you're actually going to be hit with a ransomware shortly. Now the first thing I suggest that companies do is monitor their Active Directory for failed logins. Now because of COVID-19, people are going to be still working from home for a foreseeable future. So the, the IT department had to have set up a remote access, either whether it be VPN or RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol. This is where it allows the employee to work from home, log into the system. And if their credentials have leaked onto the dark web and such, uh, you're gonna start seeing a ton of failed logins happening in the logs. You're gonna see, you're gonna see like uh, Sally failed over a thousand times to, to log into this one system. Uh, those are signs that there's a brute force being, being done and hackers are trying to get in to the account. Now the other issue you wanna watch out for is phishing emails that are coming in with weird looking domains. Uh, we've always seen cases where we've interviewed the IT department and you know, we try to have them recount you know, what could have happened, right? And they're saying, well, Jonathan in the accounting department received a, a strange looking email and clicked on the link, he wasn't supposed to, and that's when all the hell broke loose. And the IT department didn't have any technology in place to detect that there was weird traffic happening in, in the network. So you want to make sure you have this in place so we can at least monitor for suspicious traffic. And usually when a ransomware occurs, the, 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 the ransomware starts encrypting all the machines and starts going over the network. And you'll notice that the machines or even the network is, is much slower than usual. That is a sign that something's happening and that IT departments need to have the proper tools in place to detect what's actually going on. And in our experience, most companies don't have this in place. And if they do have it in place, nobody's watching the alarms. And we know having the in-house expertise is gonna be very expensive. So this is where an outsourcing option might be viable. The other problem that we're gonna see, and this is a huge problem, is that the IT department will start noticing that security tools have been installed on various computers throughout the organization that where it shouldn't be. I'll give you an example. So one of the tools that we've seen a lot of is called Mimikatz. This is where uh, this tool is, is used to steal the credentials that have been used on this partic particular computer that, that's been hacked. So if the IT guy ever signed in on that specific computer, well, the, the hackers will have access to his username and password and will be able to reuse that information without ever knowing the username and password. So this is very, very dangerous. And that's why every time that there's a data breach out there, um, say it's, you know, Equifax or these other, these other uh, big companies, the number one recommendation is always change your password. And there's a reason for this. It's because your password is probably leaked onto the dark web and the, the cyber criminals are purchasing stolen credentials. And, they're re and then they're able to use that information and try and log in your, your, your network. And what's going to happen is the IT department is not going to see any failed logins at that point because it's a, it's a legitimate login. Right? It's the correct username and password. So it's not, it's not a failure at this point. And this is where it gets very uh, difficult to spot a cyber attack. And it's the same way that the cyber criminals can log in and then launch the ransomware completely undetected. And this is another big area here where we see unusual logins in the middle of the night. So say your business hours are from 9 to 5 and all of a sudden, you know, Sally is logging in at 2 a.m. Is that normal? Right? You want to investigate this. And obviously during COVID right now, you can sign in whenever you want, right? So people can wake up at two in the morning and start working because, because there's no, no more really fixed hours. It's very difficult for IT departments to spot what's, what's usual and what's unusual with these types of logins. So you need to keep an eye on this. 
Now, those are just some of the glaring warning signs that an attack might be coming your way. Now, if you'd like to learn more about how to protect your business, I invite you to head over to www.sciologylabs.com forward slash calendar, where you'll be able to book a free 30-minute consultation with me and my team and learn about how to protect your business, some of the tools and techniques that will help prevent a ransomware from, from attacking your business. Now, as you know, once you get hit with a ransomware, it's very expensive to get back up and running, like minimum six digits. So that's all for now, and I'll see you in the next video.